This is pre-calculus T5A6, and we are solving this equation right here. And one thing that I notice about this equation is uh, it's going to be hard to solve from here. Cosine minus sine, I don't have to do with that. But I do know that this looks like a linear combination. So I'm going to try and condense it down to a single, um, just to a single trig function, and then I'll try and solve it from there. So cosine plus sine, let me look at what uh, Keith has to say about this. This is this sort of relationship, a linear combination. Um, something times cosine plus something times sine. I can rewrite it as a single cosine. Great, that's a great reminder. Thank you, Keith. So uh, what I'm going to do in order to try and get that one is I am going to uh, draw my triangle. I know that cosine is negative, so that's negative 8. Uh, maybe I'll write it above because sine is also negative. So down 3. And I'm looking for this angle right here, D, and my A is that length. So I can use Pythagorean theorem to find A. Square root of 9 plus 64, that's the square root of 73. So, so far I know I have root 73 of cosine x and then some shift. So I have to figure out what D is. Now be careful with this because notice that it's like over here in the third quadrant. Um, I, I do know that tangent of D would give me negative 3 over negative 8, which is just positive 3 eighths. So D should be inverse tangent of 3 eighths. And if I do inverse tangent of 3 eighths on my calculator, I get that D is about uh, 20.56 degrees. Uh, but 20.56 degrees is this angle right here. And I actually want this whole angle right here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to add 180 to this to get the actual value of, the, of my angle. It's 200.56. So minus 200.56. And that is still equal to 7. All right. Very good. Uh, I'm going to erase a little bit, make a little room. So as I keep going to, um, to solve this, this is root 73 times that cosine. So I'm going to divide both sides by root 73. And I get uh, cosine of this x minus 200.56 equals this number. So I'm going to inverse cosine this thing figure out what this x minus 200 is going to be equal to. So I can do that on my calculator. Um, inverse cosine of 7 divided by the square root of 73. 34.99. Uh, now the other thing I want to point out here is when I went inverse cosine, it gave me this angle, right? And cosine is about width. There's another angle that has that same width. So I also have to go 360 minus this to, uh, to get to my, my next piece, my other angle. And I got 325.01 about. So x minus 200.56 is equal to that. So now uh, to keep solving, I can add this 200.56 to everything. So both of those are going to get that added to it. I'm going to move up here for my answer. So uh, let's see, the 325.01 plus 200.56, it gives me about 525.57. And my other answer, uh, 34.99 plus 200.56, it gives me 235.55, which is pretty good. But I noticed that this is outside of this range. So that's too big, but it did. It is another solution. So uh, my period here is is 360. So just like I can add 360s to everything, you know, to get the the next couple angles, I can also subtract 360 from something to get the previous angles. So I'm going to subtract 360 from this to get my other answer. So 525.57 minus 360 that gives me 165.57. And then this 235 is fine, 
55. So x is equal to those. And again, the only reason I did the, had to do that because it was outside of uh, of the, the the range for the answers that I was looking for.